What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Stephen Davis, a.k.a. Street Slights. I am here today to do a product review. In fact, uh, I plan on doing two product reviews in one, um, pretty much a comparison between um, one product to another. And that product that we're going over today is the Journey by Matt Johnson. Uh, it is a ACAN performance, pretty much. If you don't know what an ACAN is, that is a any card at any number. That's why it's called ACAN. A C A A N, any card or any number. Um, let's just talk about this one for right now. This product, uh, it's thirty four dollars and like ninety nine cents, uh, or maybe thirty nine dollars and ninety four cent, or something like that. Anyway, it's it's thirty plus dollars for um, a DVD, and it comes with a gimmick. Uh, yes, most any card at any numbers usually don't come with a gimmick that this one comes with. I don't want to give that away, but um, uh, it does come with a gimmick that I find to be useless. That's just my personal take on it. If you guys agree or disagree, please comment below, share your thoughts, tell me if I'm right, tell me if I'm wrong. Um, I feel the gimmick that comes with the journey is pointless. And now is the, now is the presentation of the case and cover good? Yes, Matt, Matt does a really good job teaching the the actual a can really really good um i think you know the the handling and everything is top top notch the casing production of the you know murphy's magic didn't did not cut no corners but the gimmick to my knowledge is really pointless it's there to help but it really you really don't need it at all so that's just to get that out the way now um with the journeys any card any number it does go through a couple routines where you can like i said it, you can do this with a stack deck uh, or a gimmicked deck you know, there's um ways without exposing it that um you can do this with a gimmick deck and a stack deck or you can do it by memorization uh and by forcing a card so which most people do by forcing a card at any number so uh, let's just get down to it the journey i think so far again uh i would give it a three three star three and a half star close to four um i think the pricing was a little high for what it is i mean is it any card in a number is a can i mean for 35 four dollars and a gimmick that you really don't use or need um, I really think it might have been overpriced, but that's just me. If you disagree, comment below. Anyway, but um, yeah, now to compare the journey with something else, I am going to be using Ice Cold A Can. Uh, you can find this download or the production of it on, at illusionist.com. Now, for me, I use Ice Cold A Can. It is uniquely different, uniquely different. It also involves possibly a gimmicked deck or a stacked deck, again. Um, but the handling is a little bit easier. You really don't have to do anything, no memorization. You just gotta be able to count, that's it. If you can count, which I think most of you should be able to do, I'm not judging you if you can't, but I'm saying you to do ice <laughs> the ice cold, you gotta be able to count. And um and it's really not that hard to do. And so um I have to say please, and I think the ice cold is by um what is the boy's name? Mitchell Kettle? Mitchell Mitchell something, Mitchell something. But you can find it at uh Illusionist or just Google ice cold A can. Um to my knowledge, I downloaded it for about nine bucks great price i thought production was really good uh the teaching was really really clear understood it like and i started doing it literally within an hour within an hour i could do it out in the street out and about perfect not even hesitating uh like i said all you got to be doing was do is count and that's it so in comparison between the journey and ice cold a can uh i find the handling for ice cold better um it's less, it's less, you know, restrictions. Uh, ice cold is a little bit more impromptu. For me, since I'm out in the streets a lot, it's, it's easy to go to, you know. 
easy to set up and go into. So I have to say that I find that one to be a little bit more um, easier to do. Now, I could say the journey is a little bit more, has a little bit more presentation. Uh, I guess that's because the way that Matt did his um, setup and, you know, the routine, I say that. But besides that, again, for $34 or $39, either or, I'm not sure what the real price is, but I know it's $30 plus. I think it was a little overpriced. So if I had to give a rating, I would say that a ice cold a can by far, by far the best. I mean, there's no force. There's no, you don't need somebody else giving you, hey, put the card there. It's the six of hearts. No, no, uh, there's no gimmicks. Let me re rephrase. Uh, a stack deck is not a gimmick. It's just the cards are put in order. But you can gimmick a deck to do um, Ice Cold. But uh, I won't go into that without revealing um, uh, the, the trick. But let me rephrase. You don't need to do a stack deck. I know on the... Um, the advertisement, it says no stack deck. You can do it with a stack deck. You can have the person freely choose any card. No force. And I am saying this. This is no force. No force at all. So, again, no force. You could do stacks. You don't need to do a stack. I don't do a stack. I let the person choose a number, choose a card, and I go right to it. That's it. That's it. I literally count. What's your number? Uh, I mean, what's your card? Six of hearts? Cool. Uh, what's your number? Uh, 25? Count out the 25. I say, you sure? And you can even change the number. That's the greatest part about this trick. I have to say that. You can change the number in the mid, mid the middle of the routine. You say, look, you want to go up? Go up some more. 32? All right, cool. And 32 will be their card. Again, if you haven't seen the uh, advertisement or the trailer, please go see Ice Code A Can. It is very, very much a go to. And for the price for $9 to get something that you can do anywhere at any time, setup is minimal, minimal. And then, uh, like I said, comparison to uh, the journey, which I'm not totally bashing. I think Matt did a really good job. I have done his, um, his A Can. In many setups, I just find that ice cold I can is better. Uh, Mitchell did a really, 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 really good job with this one. Um, I forget where he got the setup from. Uh, I gotta do my homework. I should have, but I just did this video on the fly. So again, so that was the product review of the journey by Matt Johnson. I give it three stars, three and a half stars. Ice cold A can I give it five stars. I don't usually do that, but I give this one a five star rating. It is something that you would want to put in your repertoire um, as a street magician, as a card handler, a card shark, a uh, card mechanic, whatever, you know, as Daniel Madison would say, card mechanic. But um, yeah, that's it. So uh, please comment, review, subscribe, like, tell me your thoughts. Tell me if you don't like Ice Cold A Can or The Journey. And we can talk about it. But I say, I think you might like ice cold. All right? That's it.